Hello fellow artists. I decided to make this video because I've been using Clip Studio Paint, which is also called Manga Studio, for some time. And uh, as I'm new to it, it took me a while to kind of figure out how to remove my blue lines from my inks. And so now that I came across a way to figure it out, uh, I decided to share a video because I didn't really see anyone posting any videos about it. Or maybe I'm just bad at searching for videos. So. I'm going to first off open a file with some blue lines that I want to eventually get to looking like this after coloring and such. So I'll go to open. I'm going to choose this guy here, one of my villains. And as you can see, you have the blue lines here and then you got the ink as well. The first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to edit. I'm working on Mac and we're going to go to tonal correction and then we're going to go to tone curve. Click that. Now you see this drop box right here. Drop that box, click red. Sorry, I let it focus. This little box right here, click and drag that all the way up. Now don't freak out because your color, your image is going to look kind of weird. Drop that box again. We're going to click on green this time. Oops. And again, pull that box all the way up. So just a refresher, we're going to click red, pull the box that was down here all the way up, click green, pull the box up as well. Once you're finished with that, Press OK, and your image is going to look like this. This is how it's supposed to look. Let me turn my brightness down a little, see if that helps. It's kind of yellowed out. That's OK, it's supposed to look like that. Next, we're going to go back up here to Edit. And we're going to go back again to Tonal Correction. But this time, we're going to drop down to Hue, Saturation, Luminosity. Click on that. Drag the saturation bar all the way to your left. And now, look, there's our image. There's no blue lines. But we're not finished yet. It's a little washed out. So to, do, to fix this, to bring the image back to life without blue lines, we're going to click on Edit once more. Tonal correction again, but this time we're going to click on level correction. Now, personally, I like to kind of see what I'm working with right off bat. So I'm going to grab this little triangle right here to darken it up. I'm going to pull it over quite a bit. And as you can see, you can kind of play around with it. It adjusts, if you have preview box collect, clicked, it's going to adjust. You're going to see what you're dealing with. So I want a little bit darker, maybe a little more. That looks nice. And I want to pull this middle box down to kind of get rid of some of these middle tones. Because I just want crispy art. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit more. So I'm going to play with it a little bit. And you can also play with this one too to get your whites nice. And there you have it. No blue lines, ready to be flatted, colored, everything. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna click, click OK. And now it's ready. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, like again, I said, I didn't see anything talking about this before. So let's see what happens.